Hello Internet! Welcome back to some more Basel Stadium Live. And um, I am here again with Joe. I feel like I've, I'm just repeating myself over and over again, don't I? I should find, oh, well. <laughs> just find a more, more, more interesting introduction. We did make Master Ball, by the way, as well. Oh, nice. Okay, sweet. So, yeah, here's, here's, here's Joe again, Mr. Joseph, with uh, his team. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> Against Kakarot, number 509. Okay, so we could I'm get to see more normal teams, more normal teams. Yeah, <laughs> we we could get vicarious revenge on the uh, the colossal that we lost to a couple of days ago now, but uh, we, so we have like two potential leads, right? So we can lead um we can lead Hydreigon into this, mm. which I actually probably wouldn't mind just to threaten the dust flops. Uh, maybe Hydreigon Milotic would actually be pretty. The problem cool, is if he leads with the uh, Prim Arena. Yeah, we just hypnosis it. Well, blind. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess I like because the thing is, is like we kind of have to account for the Colossal, which is like the issue. Like, yeah, if yeah. there was no Colossal on this, what we would lead is uh, Milotic and Cinnabar. Okay. Covers <laughs> for a little bit more because he has Colossal. I'm kind of worried about him leading like Prim Arena Colossal. Okay. I mean, I, I do like the Hydreigon lead, but. Yeah, I guess there's nothing uh, else that we keep can... Incineroar. I think you keep Incineroar Togekiss in the back. Nothing else that we can instantly threaten the um, the, uh, the the Prim Arena with straight away, since there's no strong grass Pokemon or electric Pokemon on this team, so... Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, I, and I kind of like having that, like, like it's not it's not too big of a deal as long as you play around it correctly. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, just, it's just about, like, position is it, basically. As long yeah. as you can put yourself in a decent position where, like, you're not going to get swept by it. I mean, assuming they, they lead with the Prim Arena... Um, if we hit the hypnosis, you know the sixty percent accurate hypnosis, then we'll be we will be in a fantastic position. But yeah, okay. Exactly. Well, he could oh, just be that... going for a for an Accuchair still. I would I would still be clicking hypnosis and in... anyways, just because um if we're maxing the Hydreigon anyways, we want to protect it to the best of our ability. So I think quaking the colossal and going for a um going straight for the uh, hypnosis onto the Primarina is the correct play. It does make sense. But it's scary sense. It's, it's okay. Just just don't acknowledge you can miss. There's a sixty percent chance to win the game. Sixty percent chance to win the game. That's all you. That's all you got to. It's about. unnerving sense. Okay. I mean, he could he could easily just protect or swap his colossal and go for moonblast here. So this hypnosis oh. is potentially going to be massive for us. Um, I mean, he surely he knows that colossal cannot one shot hydreigon. So that's why I'm thinking he is going to. Play defensively with the Colossal and try Moonblast here. We can see if we land a Hypnosis, I think we just win. Like, yeah, because because this lead is like very good for us. If he gets, if he's, you know, he could still be maxing. Well, yeah, there's no swapping. There's no sw switching. Swapping. Maybe he goes straight for it. Honestly, like, yeah, maybe maybe he thinks that. I don't know. Maybe maybe he's gonna go for the um. The uh, max overgrowth. overgrowth. If you can go for an overgrowth. Yeah, if you go for an overgrowth. Yeah. I'm gonna be too surprised to see that, to be honest. Yeah. Oh well. Oh. It looks like he is moonblasting then. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we, we I mean, are plus one special defense now, so. Yeah. Well, I think we'll take it. Yeah. Um, we could. The only thing is, is, it's still better if we land our hypnosis. Like, we're gonna land it. We're gonna land it. Okay. We are going to hit this hypnosis. Joe has sure. told me. I've been I told informed you, we're by gonna him. Hit it. I told you, we're gonna hit it. Yeah. <laughs> you believe it. Believe it, you're gonna hit it. Oh dear. It's just funny because like I, I really hate going for like hypnosis without uh, gravity or without like coils and stuff. But in my um my uh the the Sheffield regional, the second regional that I won, <laughs> um I, I did hit like three blind hypnosis in in the top cut. I think. So oh, yeah. <laughs> like you know if you've got it uh, then you know sixty percent is is more than than you know, fifty percent. So <laughs> yeah, I would, I would go for, I would go for a darkness here, the Venusaur, and just, uh, just to, like kill it if it's not uh, Sash. And then if he maxes, it's like kind of annoying, but it's still okay. I would yeah. just coil. Or coil you think... Honestly, you could blind him this. Maybe blind him notice the Venusaur. Honestly, like if he, because like in that case, like if even if he kills your Milo here, like I don't think you're gonna be able to set up a coil and use. It. That's the thing. Like if he goes for an ooze, then he's just gonna kill your Milotic next turn. Not muddy water. Just go for... I think I think hypnosis. I would just go for hypnosis. I trust you. I'm trusting yeah, I, you. I, I just think I just think it covers for more because if he if he maxes like okay he protects so it's not a big deal like that's actually fine. 
Because um, now, like, what you can do is you can oil and darkness the Venusaur. Yeah, because there's no sash there. Accurate, I need to use a minus more one. more accurate hypnosis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay so in hindsight technically um coil would have been better that turn but it would have been better but, but it, like, yeah, I, I, I see the logic behind your uh your you working yeah. out there and plus plus the thing is we're so far in the lead anyways like if we miss the hypnosis it's not game ending for us i mean he, I mean? he like, has still got his dynamax so yeah there is that i think, I think you max darkness the venusaur here and you uh go for a coil yeah, I mean, he could maybe swap the free marina into Torkoal, but he doesn't really get much from that outside of like maybe a, a fast sleep powder, which isn't amazing for him. In fact, if he was going to do yeah. that, he probably would have done that last turn to waste one of our uh, Dynamaxes. I mean, in that case, then maybe we should have gone for a Quake into the Venusaur, but if it maxes, then we're kind of going to regret it. So, oh, okay, he swaps. Oh, it is Torkoal, but... He's going to die. It dies was, the darkness. Yeah, I was expecting the Torkoal would come in for the free marina, but yeah. I don't know why he did that exactly, but... Like maybe I don't know. Maybe, maybe like he's logic. he's just really uh, adamant on getting his um his uh moonblast off our spells. But goodbye Torkoal. Venusaur and Sun is gonna be a threat to this Milotic. Yeah, I think we'll live to whatever the um arena goes for, to be honest. I mean he's, he's, it's gonna be a max overgrowth, isn't it? Because he's gonna dynamax the Venusaur, surely. Probably, yeah, but we have a max quake too, which is kinda nice. Mm. Yeah. Max quick boost. He wakes up, goes for a moon blast. Yep, he goes for a moon blast. Which oh, he survived. Take it, take it. Nice. Okay. So now his life orb would have killed, but luckily it wasn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe he's uh, taken after me and gone for like throat spray. But no, he, uh, he won't. <laughs> he won't have like. I think same. I think AV is actually very good on premium. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. like AV a lot. Um, I think here. Which one do you want to put to sleep more? I think you want to put the Venusaur. The to Venusaur, sleep more, to be yeah, definitely. But yeah, I would I would hypnosis Venusaur and go for a. I say go for a Dark Pulse into it. I'd yeah, that's, yeah. We it. I think we have to target the Venusaur here. Like that yeah, is the, the one. Venusaur is a lot more threatening. Yeah, that is Venusaur's the one that's going to be doing the damage. That's the one that's going to be Dynamaxing. Like I'm very we confident. Have, at least turn. we have Incineroar in the back. At least we have Incineroar in the back and Sun's up. So Primer will be doing less damage to us unless it's the one that, that's maxing. But even if it's maxing, then. Still have like a lot of opportunities to hit the Venusaur. True. Or Togekiss will outspeed it after he sets rain. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this game isn't over, but we were in a good position. I don't think he has Quake though, because um because of the way he uh protected. Um you usually want sleep powder on your Venusaur anyways, so I feel like he's probably uh not Quake and he has sleep powder. Let's see. I mean, I, I do like, from my stunt in the team, I really like Dynamaxing the Venus, so I think it's a fantastic Pokemon to, uh, uh, you know, to Dynamax. You get a lot from it. I will live. We should live. We're plus one. Yeah, nice. We'll see. Uh, Maybe yeah. if, like, I was Life Orb on, on my Venus, so we'll see if there's any recoil here. Uh, yeah, is. he is yeah, Life it Orb. Is, it is, it is. Yeah, it's Life Orb. Okay. Cool. That's some nice damage to yeah. get down on it. And if we hit this 80% accurate hypnosis, this will be fantastic for us. You mean 100% accurate? I mean 80% accurate. Really not. <laughs> <laughs> you should have said it. <laughs> <laughs> and it is energy ball. Okay. Okay. Um, to be fair, I don't think he's actually... Um... Okay, this is going to actually be kind of bad. Yeah. Um... yeah. Uh, I think, well, we ha obviously we have to bring him. Um... I mean, the flip that's will take out, out the Venusaur from you. Take out the Pre-Marina, and you go for an Air Slash into the Venusaur. Unless we think that it's the Ooze is going to kill us. Because the Togus has some bulk. Yeah. Um, the mm. Togus has some bulk. But... Ooze, I know Life Orb Max Ooze doesn't one-shot normal Togekiss. But from my experience with um, Life Orb, Sludge Bomb, with uh, the Power Spot from Stone Jenner, that normally does one-shot most Togekiss. So... Yeah, I, I feel like we go for the air slash into the Venusaur and we fake out the Primary. Really? And not just like a um try and go for like a flare blitz into the Venusaur? We could, but then like it, like think about it. If our Togekiss lives and we kill the Venusaur, right? Then the Pre Marina isn't going to um the Pre Marina isn't gonna be able to do anything, so we stop it from doing something for a turn, then we can double attack it. Because I mean we I need the Togekiss to to beat the Pre Marina. But then we're gonna lose the Tokus anyways. Like I think, I think, uh, like if we lose the Tokus anyways, we lose. Like he could also Aqua Jet our Tokus to like get some extra. Mm. 
This guy had Colossal, right? Yes. Yeah, he will, he will have Aqua Jet. Okay. Yeah, so we survived ah, that. So we live, we live, we live. Okay, yeah, okay. So I mean, a critical is, hit is... here would be the Fantastic. I think we kill anyways, but yeah, probably crit would be nicer. So oh, I, I was assuming that this wasn't going to one-shot it. Um, let's see. I think we do. Oh, we do. Nice. We do. Yeah, yeah, we do. We do. Oh, it wasn't a critical hit. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah okay. No, no, no. Yeah, I, was, do, I think I was a bit more worried there than um, I should have been. But, I mean, I we're still we not in a brilliant position. We dazzle Flare Blitz. Uh, because, um, in this situation, like, uh, the Premier is going to kill our tokens anyways, like, regardless of what we do. I think we just go for a Flare Blitz and a, uh, Dazzle. And not an Air Slash? The... Oh, no, I would go for Dazzle. I, I just want to go for more damage. Because, like, it, we're likely to have to beat the Premier in anyways, and, like, Flare Blitz is going to do a lot of damage in the sun. Mm -hmm. Like, we could just put it into range where it's going to die to next Flare Blitz. True. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's a plus one see. attack, but in the sun, I don't yeah, think yeah, yeah. our Hyper Voice see, like, will so get the incinerator. Yeah, we went first, so we're going to win. We're going to win. We just go first. and we. Okay, first. it is Hyper Voice. Yeah, that's, it, that's fine. Maybe we should take it, yeah. Yeah, the, the like in a few games, actually, this week, uh, so far, the speed investment that you've put on this incinerator has been really good for us. Yeah, for beating the Primarina speed, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was kind of the intention behind it because it lets you outspeed it so that you can like kind of get parting shots off first, mm. flare blitz at first. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, flare blitz here should. Yeah, it's good. Like if he's got protect, he should go for it here, maybe to stall out the sun. But we'll, um, we'll... even then, I still think we'd be able to kill yeah, it. Yeah, next turn, grassy. Like it'd be in rain, grassy surge. Like recovery. yeah, if he has protect, you could definitely click it here. Yeah, but no, he doesn't have it. Yeah, I feel um, like if you've got aqua jet, you don't really have space for protect as well. But yeah, yeah, like he, he, he could matter, have been assault tested. Or... Maybe. He had energy, yeah, he had energy ball, aqua jet, yeah. and like... And Moonblast and Hyper voice. voice, yeah. That's it. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, yeah, maybe maybe not the cleanest of games. I mean, we didn't exactly get lucky. In fact, we kind of got maybe a little unlucky missing the 80% uh, the accurate I hypnosis. Mean, but then we hit the 60% uh, yeah. one, so kind of evens itself out, I suppose. Uh, but, yeah, interesting game. Um, it's, I, I find like it a little bit strange how he just let his Colossal go down turn one. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, if it played... Like if it played that a lot better, then, you know, it, it would have been much more of a threatening game. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Snuffkin. 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 That sounds like a blooming illegal video. Uh, very interesting. Yeah, kind so this want, Pikachu like... could be um, Lightning Rod and still be Gigantamax now. Pikachu is so freaking annoying, dude. I hate it. Um... <laughs> Dude, honestly, I think leading Excadrill Whimsicott, if he leads Pikachu Togekiss, you tell an Earthquake, it kills the Pikachu. Mm hmm. What if he leads uh, Durant Whimsicott? You keep Incineroar in the back. Okay. Hold that. And you also keep your Togekiss in the back. So Whimsicott, Excadrill with Incineroar. Togekiss, I think. And. I like Togekiss in the back. Togekiss. Um, even though, because my Lodic is just kind of like fodder for like the Venusaur and the Pikachu. Um, not great against Togekiss, and it's kind of like, if the Durant has, like, an electric move, it's gonna suck anyways. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it so, beats the Tyranitar, but you can beat the Tyranitar anyways with your other Mons, like... Like, with the coverage that you've got on this Togekiss, it does hit pretty much all of their Pokemon for super effective damage. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Also, you don't want to, like, the good thing with this team, too, is having flexibility, so, like, having an option for, like, Togekiss maxing, too, as well as, like, do you just tell an Earthquake and the Pikachu dies? Mm. <laughs> like, yeah, because it, it, it will be Light Ball. Die. Yeah. This is gonna die. Yeah, this is this is where Earthquake is, is good. We're gonna be breaking our we are Sasha one, aren't we? This is so funny. This is it doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter because yeah. you get your tailwind up. As long as you get the tailwind up. We fun. will be breaking our Sash, but like but yeah. It's, it's so funny. <laughs> he, well he, he he could just go for a fake out into what he's got here. But But if, then he just dies. If like, he does, yeah, he's still losing his Pikachu, but we'll see. I just want to see the turn one max of the Pikachu. Oh my god, he's gonna do it, dude! <laughs> dude he's just gonna hey, he's die. using a uh, a fastball. I think that's a fastball. I always use Raichu in a fastball. And, so funny. And this guy's going with it with the Pikachu. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's just gonna follow me, and he's gonna go for the Volt Crash. I think that's. I think that's what's gonna happen here. Are, are you it sure with this 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 minimal investment? Are you sure Earthquake still one shot? I feel like it's gonna kill still. And even if it doesn't, then you have Dazzling Gleam, like when uh, Whimsicott goes down. You can even go for Dazzling Gleam on your, um... Because we'll have Tailwind up, so we'll have the speed advantage anyway. Yeah. So, fine. Okay. Well, Tailwind, Earthquake, let's see. So we'll see. I, I feel like we will, but... Oh, it does. 
yeah, exactly. Pikachu sucks. It has terrible bulk. Yeah. Oh, well, that, that was a critical hit, so... I don't know if it made a difference, but yeah. it has bulk. Like, Pikachu has, like, absolutely awful bulk. Yeah, it is, it is very frail. And uh, and in that one moment, he just wasted his Gigantamax for, exactly, yeah. for the whole so, game. Like, the, honestly, the game's... I don't want to say, like, too early, but the game's kind of over. Like, <laughs> yeah, it probably is, yeah. Uh, I think it just still spike Gleam. Uh, still spike the Tokus and Gleam it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, getting the the defense boost is nice in front of this Durant. He could be he could be a Babiri, but I don't think it would be. Okay, I'm I'm kind of surprised that he didn't forfeit just there. Yeah. In my head, that was. I I think the Durant name for because this is a German name, like we're playing against German names, and like I think the Durant name is actually really cool. Fermacula, I think it's called or something. Fermacula or something like that. It's really cool, actually. That's one Pokemon I don't know the German name for. Yeah. Okay, doesn't gleam. No, follow me. Doesn't gleam. Does it? Called a Max Quake the Durant. It didn't really make it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's no. He now has no Babiri, so the game's kind of over. Yeah, it it pretty much is, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, and like it for for the rest of the game, he's gonna be. That was a really quick game. Yeah, (laughs) it was. (laughs) He just loses turn one with the earthquake. Okay. And superpower hits. Oh, and he gives you, and he gives you the. Weakness oh policy. yeah, weakness policy, and debuffs himself as well. Uh, yeah. Okay. So funny. Yeah, this game has been pretty. pretty this quick. is why we don't run. This is why we don't run Pikachu, guys. Yeah. <laughs> I, you know, I, I quite like Pikachu. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, you know, so my mom, uh, whenever she talks to me about Pokemon, is she like, she like, uh, she's like, oh, is Pikachu a good Pokemon? I'm like, no, mom, it sucks. I'm like, I'm like it's actually probably one of the worst considered Pokemon. She's like, oh, that's kind of weird considering it's a mascot. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I like how as the years have gone on, they've, they've made Pikachu better and better and better. Like, with yeah. the introduction of Light Ball, with the introduction of Light Rod, with yeah, the introduction yeah. of a Volt Tackle, with um, now the Gigantamax form, you know. Yeah. They've always added. There's so many, like, cool things, yeah. I think it just steals like actually. I forgot that we were max. I was going to be like, you could just Earthquake here and just win. But yeah, I think it just steals like Tyranitar. Uh, and Gleam again. Yeah. Yeah, just claim. Yeah, you could just spam claim, honestly. Then you get punished for it at all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Despotar. I'm surprised he hasn't been forfeit. Yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, same. Name for Tyranitar is cool. Like, Despotar, I think it's really sick. Mm. Dracula, Despotar. Mm. Yeah, I was thinking today, like earlier, actually. Back in 2013, when, like, just before Worlds, when I was, like, really, really, really paranoid about uh, being scouted and all that lot. Um, I used to play on Showdown, where all of my Pokemon had the nicknames of the German names, just so oh, people really? That's people funny. might not think it was me. Like, <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, haha! I've outsmarted you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure anyone really like was actually for, scouting me for, for scouting for world, <laughs> but yeah, who knows? Uh, I, th- I think Insane, yeah, it's yeah. fine. You just. Spike. Still Spike for the culture. <laughs> the culture? The culture, yes. <laughs> I'm not you can also just swap in, and, swap in and, so guess, and just steal Spike. <laughs> He's gonna, if he protects, like, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, if you like. Yeah, it wouldn't even make a difference. Like, if he... Because, like, if you fake out, like... They still not forfeit. Um... He still has, dude. He thinks he has a chance. I respect it. Yeah. He's going. He's going for his outs. I mean, I I, I like people <laughs> playing for their outs and stuff, but um, you yeah, know, know, if, if <laughs> the game's <laughs> over, really then know. the game's over, isn't it? It's just a waste of time for both of us. <laughs> All right, nice. Snuffkin. Snuffkin. I wonder if Snuffkin means anything in German. I don't know. <laughs> Well, if you're German, if you know how to speak German, please tell us in the comments if Snufkin means anything, <laughs> or it's just a funny name or something. Okay, right. Well, okay. I mean, this this is actually the shortest video that we've done um, so far. We've got one more tomorrow. Yeah. But um, yeah, okay. So in the first game, um, Colossal kind of went. Yeah, he let his Colossal go down very early. Um, yeah, dude. I'm not. I'm not sure what he was doing because he didn't try an Aqua Jet with him, and he was sitting in front of a Hydreigon, which normally has Earth Power and a Milotic as well. So. Yeah. I'm not really sure what he was thinking that turn, unless he was really adamant that whatever he was potentially going to switch in wouldn't want to take the damage. But, um, or maybe uh, just yeah. timed out or something, but I don't know. But that's that. Second game, um, yeah, the, the Tailwind turn one. And it's funny because the amount, of, the amount of teams that I build that are weak to 
just like a whim's got going for a tailwind and something like sweeping through. Like that's just something right. that that I struggled with like inherently with my team building. So just to be able to do it now, like is nice. weird it really is strange <laughs> like i'm the one with the whims got now and yeah, yeah. just no, the, the earthquake the you, you know <laughs> in fact just before we go since um since um since we're only like 20 minutes in i'm just gonna do the calculation just because i'm curious um so if you don't want to know the calculation thank you for watching and goodbye and everything but um if you do want to know this calculation on the gigantamax pikachu Get you with the earthquake. Yeah, yeah, with the earthquake. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that. Uh, Trudel's not that invested. It's a uh, yeah, it's, yeah. I, I know. I'm I'm just looking at what it is in case you don't want to tell everyone. It's uh that, ah, oh, calculator. Well, I've not opened the uh, the calculator for ages. I think it would even bring it down to ninety, even if it well, like I feel like it'd definitely do a lot. Regardless. Mm. I mean, if if we didn't get the knockout, then it would have paralyzed both of us, and there's always a chance of um you know full paralysis, paralysis. and stuff, isn't there? Because you're right, like, yeah. got would have been faster the next turn. Yeah. Even still. Uh, right. We'd be able to just iron head and, like, dazzle. Pikachu. Right. Um, right, and it was an earthquake, wasn't it? That was an earthquake. Spread. Uh, okay, oh, that's funny. That's really funny. Chill. If If they were exactly 4 HP and no defense... The, the absolute minimum roll is 100%, exactly. <laughs> yeah, uh, so they were pretty dead. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. The... Oh, lesson, lesson here, kids. Don't use Pikachu. It's bad. <laughs> <laughs> loses, <laughs> loses the Tailwind plus Earthquake. Yeah, pretty much. And I guess, like, if you're pairing it with, like, a Wim's Got Yourself, then you're kind of passive as well, in a way. Although Pikachu does do a lot of damage. But yeah, anyway. a lot of damage. Now, now we know the calculation. Um, you can all leave um, with with a clear conscience now, and so can we. And <laughs> so we are going to leave right now. So thank you very much, guys. Um, please <laughs> comment for the 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 algorithm. <laughs> for the algorithm. Uh, yeah, whatever. Um, like like if you liked it, comment if you want to say something. Uh, we do read all the comments, obviously. But yeah, most importantly, I hope you've enjoyed it, and we'll see you tomorrow for uh, for the last video with Joe. Um, it's going to be heartbreaking to say goodbye to you, but... I'm very sad. <laughs> but anyway, we'll see you then. We've gone on long <laughs>